Hello, in this video we're going to go through the vocabulary for the song Purer in Heart, O God. Now this song is unique in that it's a prayer song, okay? And so we're going to make sure that when we go through the song that we keep the attitude of prayer in the way we sign and the way we say the words, okay? In the way we sign the words. Um, I'm going to go through the vocabulary and what I really want you to do as we go through this vocabulary, I say at the beginning of each one of these vocabulary videos, because it's really, really important. We do not speak in words. You might say, oh, Paul, I use words all the time. But you really don't speak in words. You speak in sentences. If you spoke in words, it would sound like this. Okay? But we don't speak in words. We speak in sentences. Okay? We don't even have spaces between our words. We speak, we speak really, 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 really fast. And we still understand it. Okay? We speak in sentences. And so it's really important that you learn these songs, these signs, in sentences, in phrases. Otherwise, your signs are going to sound like, Pure in heart, O oh God, that's not a song. All right? We need to make sure that when we're communicating, we're communicating well. And so, this will also help you a lot when you go to do your song at LTC. Because you'll be able to remember it better in phrases than you will be to do it as individual words. Alright? With the preaching aside there, here is Purer in Heart, O God. It is a prayer. And in this day and age, we all need to be saying this prayer, all right? Purer, okay? The letter P, starting like right here on your hand. Your hand is up, okay? And it's kind of running toward the end of the long finger, okay? Pure, that's the sign for pure. And if we want to emphasize that and make it purer, then we do pure er. Okay? And it's like two A hands. One of them starts a little bit below the other and just kind of comes up. Okay? Pure er in heart. Heart. You just kind of make a little circle. I'm going to kind of go sideways. Maybe you can see it. I'm not sure. The finger, the long finger pointed out this way. It's almost always a feeling or a shiny or a, you know, excited or emotional kind of thing. The heart, you use that finger to touch your heart with. Circle. I've also seen it where they do it with a uh, heart this way and a heart that way. Um, I do heart this way. Okay? Do it whatever way you know how to do it. If you're doing it like me, it's going to be like this. Heart. Oh, God. Oh. See the O's? Those, all right, they just kind of circle and come up, and they end where they started. They go down, they make two big O's, and they come down, back to where they started. God. Like you're going to shake your hand, come up, and then put down, all right? God. If you were to like, to, uh, like if you were trying to put a sign in the ground, okay, you'd pick up the sign, you'd lift it up, and let it fall into the hole. That's kind of the way it is, God. Help me to be. Okay? Help. It's, again, it's like an A hand. And you just kind of give it a little help up. Help me to be. Okay? We're, this is a sign for two, and this is a sign for B, but we're not going to use those two signs. Okay? Part of interpreting for the deaf is to take our English language that we internally uh, understand and we grasp uh, the meanings of and translate it into their language. Okay? To and be does not mean anything to them. Become does. Alright? Pure in heart heart, oh God, help me become. 
all right? That's what the song is, is actually trying to ask us to do. We're interpreting the meaning of it. Understand what I'm saying? Shake your head yes. I see you through the camera. You're doing this. Good. All right, me. I uh, skipped going to sign for me. In sign language pronouns. Really, really easy. You. Me. If there were four of us in this room, it'd be me. Her. You. Him. Okay? It's directional. And we'll see this uh, in multiple places. If you have an open palm, it's the same thing, only it's possessing. Mine. Hers. Yours. His. Okay? If we're talking about God, God's up there. His. Okay? You. The. Um, that's one little glitch. When they start using King James English like the, instead of doing you for the sign, they oftentimes do it open palm up. If you did you, that would be fine too. Next line is, May I devote my life wholly to thee. May I devote. Okay, let's just think on those for a minute. May, this is signed for can. Now, I know growing up, my I would say, can I have some candy? And my mom would say, yes you can, but you may not. There's a difference in English. They're not in sign language. May and can are the same sign. Alright? May, I, remember the pronouns? I, devote my life. Devote. I have my life. I'm holding it here in my hand. And I am going to give it completely to you. Okay? Devote doesn't mean I'm just going to say, all right, you know, I'm going to devote you some candy. That's not it. It's going to give completely. All right? Devote my life wholly to thee. Completely. Hand coming across the top of your hand. Okay? Completely. And it's coming towards you. Okay? My life, life is L's, coming up, start the belt line, and it's come up where it's comfortable to stop, okay? Holy to thee, okay? This time, I want to use the word to, thee. Watch thou my wayward feet. This song has uh, a little bit of old King James in it, all right? Thou. Who is the thou that we're talking about? It's God, all right? And what we're asking him to do is watch my wandering around, all right? So, watch thou my wayward feet. Now, if I were doing this in real sign language, I would change the order of the words a little bit. If I were doing ASL, I'd change the words a little bit, but uh, we're going to say it as it is here on the, on the, in the word in, of the song. Okay, watch. In sign language, your eyeballs are on the ends of your fingers, so it's really easy to watch. Stare. Okay, notice they kind of mimic the eyes in the head, but it's also kind of nice because you can look and you can look down, you can look around corners, you can look on top of the refrigerator. Uh, it's really kind of nice. Um, you really wouldn't want to have your eyes there all the time in real life. Because what are you going to do? Never mind. Eyes. Watch. And this is, if you do two of them and you move them around, Wayward feet. Okay, this is a man going from here to there. This is a man not getting there in a straight line. Wayward. Okay, my wandering feet. And you just point down to where the toes are. That's where your feet are. 
Guide me with counsel sweet. Okay? Guide. You grab a hold of my fingers here, and you just kind of drag me along there. That is lead. Guide me with two A hands just coming together. Okay? Counsel. And the way I think about this is, you, you've all, I'm sure, I don't know where, Charlie Brown? Maybe you've seen Charlie Brown? And all the Charlie Brown cartoons, all the parents go, wah, 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 wah. You never hear their voices. All the adults go, wah, 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 wah. That's where I, that's how I feel like the sign is. Counsel is more like, wah, 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 wah. Counsel, sweet. And it's just like you've eaten some cotton candy and you got it on your chin and you're trying to get it off. Sweet. Purer in heart, help me to be. All right? We already know all those signs from previously. Okay? Second verse. First verse was pretty easy. Okay? Second verse. Purer in heart, O oh God, help me to be. It's the same thing as what the first verse started with. Okay? Teach me to do thy will most lovingly. Teach. Take from my brain and put into your brain. Okay? Teach me to do. And it's just two C hands kind of rocking back and forth. And uh, in sign language, this is do. This is did, this is does, this is doing. All of those things, it's just the same sign. All right? Do thy open palm, God's upstairs, will, wants. Okay? And I have always, when I do a will, I always make it more than a want. I lift my shoulders a little bit and go, will. All right? Will. And just kind of like you're grabbing something a little bit. All right? Most lovingly, a sign for most turns out to be the same sign we put at the end of word to make it more. All right, purer. A sign for most is most. Okay. Lovingly, don't have to do anything more than just love. Like you're holding your teddy bear, holding it close. That's love. Be thou my friend and guide. Be. Thou, all right, sign for B is a B coming off the chin. Thou, again, pointing upstairs where God is. My, open palm, ownership. Friend and guide. Friend. Okay, kind of hook the fingers one way, then hook the friend, hook, hook the finger the other way. And guide. And. Open palm, coming the, in the direction of the elbow into where all your fingers are together. And guide. Hmm. We saw the word guide earlier as this, but that's the verb guide. Okay? This is the person guide. In sign language, when we want to personalize an action, we put this at the end of it. Okay? Uh, we do this in English all the time. Sail. Uh, it's something you do. I'm going to go sailing. But if a person who does sail is a sailer, right? Uh, a person who saves is a saver, savior. Okay? So, savior, sailer, um, leader, guide. Okay? Get that? Let me with thee abide. Let. You kind of start with L hands pointing at the floor at about a 45 degree angle. And then just kind of bring them up. Kind of like you got your guns down and then you're going to go, guns up. Don't really do the guns up look though. Alright. Let me with. Okay. Again, just two A hands coming to, together. The. We've done that many a times now. Abide. It's just A's coming up. Start kind of at your belt line and come up to where it's comfortable. Okay? Purer in heart, help me to be. That's the same line as the first verse. P 
pure in heart, help me to thee. Third verse. Purer in heart, O God, help me to be. I see a pattern forming here. That I, thy holy face, one day may see. That, the letter Y, into the hand. That I, thy, all these are not new signs except for that. The letter Y into the hand. That I, thy holy, it's the letter H. Kind of go like you're going to butter your bread. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to do that, but let's spread it on out. Okay? Put a little piece of butter on the bread and then smooth it out. All right? Holy face one day I see. Okay? That I, thy holy face, just kind of circle the face to show the face. One, the little number one, just kind of up, up in the air. Day, kind of like following the sun across the sky. May, I, I, I see. Okay? Again, with the, with the fingers. Looking. Keep me from secret sin. Okay? Keep me. Oh. Keep means I'm going to take something, I'm going to hold on to it. English language is so strange sometimes. All right? Uh, I don't want to keep and hold on. I want you to protect me. Okay? Protect me from secret sin. Okay? Keep me from secret sin. Okay? Protect like football. Me from. Uh, did you see the movie Toy Story? You know, you got Woody and you pull a little string on the back of his neck. That's kind of what the way that is. From. Secret sin. Secret. Uh, we sing the song, Hide it under a bushel. No. Well, if it's a secret, hide it under a bushel. Yes. Okay. Secret sin. And it's just X fingers starting at the chin. And just kind of circling a little bit coming out. Not really circles. Arcs. Maybe is a better way of saying that. Rain thou my soul within. Rain. It's kind of like the reins on a horse. Alright. So you're moving the horse along. Rain thou my soul within. Okay? So, kind of like wide F's, and you got your fingers together, and it's like you're sewing. I know that the deaf don't have anything that sounds like soul, but soul within. Okay? And this time we're just kind of pantomiming the, the, the word within, because this is where we want, them, want God to reign, in our heart. Okay? Purer in heart. Help me to be. We've got the vocabulary. And then the last word, and this will be on the thing, uh, on the tape, is Amen. Amen. To A coming in for a landing, put on the retro rockets, and then land. Alright? Amen. This is a prayer. And so, the next part of the video, we're going to go through the song really, really slowly, but I really want you to get the concept that it's, it is a prayer. And I also want you to make sure that you are learning this in phrases, that you can integrate this and feel the song. This song is a little bit easier than some of the others, if you take the King James stuff into consideration. Um, but what's really going to be focused on, on this song, is how you... You're there at LTC. Good luck.